everybody. In this video, we are going to review Robin Hood and I'll share a little advice on how to start using this investment tool. Welcome to or back to my channel. Please like, subscribe and share. If you are interested or become interested in creating a Robin Hood account, please use my link in the description section below for a free stock just for opening up an account. In a previous video, I addressed how M1 Finance is a great little man's passive retirement investing machine. It is great for setting up recurring Roth IRA payments or for a rollover IRA. If these options are what you are looking for, Robinhood isn't for you, and I would suggest checking that video out. I'll also put that link in the description section below as well. If you are looking for a platform for personal investing, Robinhood is probably what you are looking for. When you can only afford $50, $100, $200 or so a month on personal investing, having to pay commission trades puts you in a hole by five to 30% right off the gate if you can only afford one to two shares at a time. This is the way it has been done for years prior to the start of the modern fintech companies kind of rolling out. Robinhood eliminated commission fees and many companies have thankfully also followed suit. So some of the pros of Robinhood, first off, they have bountiful options. You can do single day trading throughout the day when the market is open. There are so many investing options like market order, limit order, trailing stop order, stop order, stop limit order, buy a call, they even have descriptions of what each of these means below each of them, so it's pretty nice. There are plenty of stocks on Robinhood, ETFs, REITs, and cryptocurrency that you can choose from. You can't ask for a better cost. I have been using Robinhood since 2016 and haven't paid a dime for all the trades that I've done in that time. Their premium option, Robinhood Gold, is also just $5 a month isn't a bad offer for even more access to more research that they have and data if this is something that you are really into. They offer great educational tools on their website to learn more about investing itself, investing terminology, even having the biggest movers each day, price movements updates given to you which you can customize to those stocks or index funds that you are more interested in. Robinhood continually improves on instant access to funds based on how much you have in your account. It can take up to three to five days for a transfer to complete. If you have limited funds in your account or if the purchase you are making is substantially higher than what you have in your account, it can also take greater time. They are improving every year. The company doesn't appear to be content with where they are at and they are constantly finding ways to improve and become more compatible within their market. So highly recommend Robinhood on that standpoint. So what are some of the cons of Robinhood? Pun wasn't initially intended there. They currently don't offer account options like a rollover or Roth IRA that you can do through them. That would be a great addition that they could potentially add to their tools. Um, another thing is that the, the graph illustration of all time percent improvement isn't accurate and I'll show you mine when I'm talking about this right there. Uh, overall, I would give Robinhood an A rating. Um, so if you're interested in opening an account, first click on my referral link in the description section. With any type of account like this, you'll have to give personal information such as your social security number, so be prepared to give such. You will link it up with your bank account, so you will need to know the routing number and account number of your bank. They will deposit two small sums into your bank in a few days. Once they do that, you'll input these amounts deposited in your Robinhood account to confirm the bank. Once you confirm your bank, which may take a week or two, you'll be able to make a money transfer into Robinhood to begin. And you will get one free share for using my link again in the description section below. Some additional recommendations for beginners. Just start, learn by getting your hands dirty, but I recommend making parameters first. These will be rules to help guide you because emotion can play a huge role in how you act and react to hourly, daily, or weekly changes. For example, when I started in 2016, I put $1,000 into my account to begin, but I wasn't going to put any more money in until I was up 20%. And I made a goal I wasn't going to make same day trades 
just wasn't gonna go into that mess. By the time two months had passed, I was up 20 plus percent and I felt more comfortable to add more money as time went on. So what do you like and dislike about Robinhood? What are some questions you have about its use? Again, please let me know in the comment section below. I will respond back to your questions. Uh, just let me know. Uh, again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you actually liked it. And as always, ciao.